Welcome, Welcome to Cozumel. Yeah, she, she beat me too. <laughs> Day three aboard the Scarlet Lady, Virgin Voyages Cruise Line. Behind me, you can see Cozumel, Mexico. We have a full day in Cosmo, Mexico today. Um, we don't have any excursions booked. It's solely just walking around, uh, just check out like the local area that where the port is. That sun is very strong though right now. Please don't mind my voice, I literally just woke up. Both me and Connor have never been to Mexico, so this is definitely a whole new ball game for us. Look at that sunrise. We're not quite ducked yet, but there's Cozumel. It's actually extremely sticky and humid outside, but it's been like this for the past like three days, even in Miami. So we're bringing the humidity, I guess, with us. Um, right now, Connor's still sleeping, so I'm going to let him sleep for a little bit longer. We'll wake him up. We'll get changed. Probably go ahead and get breakfast at like the galley because I still haven't had an omelet here. And I heard that it's like a build your own omelet station. And I think he wants to try the French toast. Um, and then yeah, and then we'll get off and see what's like around. Now that we're turning and we're out of the sun's like way, this is Cosmo. And actually you can see two other cruise lines that are here and one's coming in. So for those of you that are looking at maybe possibly booking a balcony, we have the XL Terrence um, balcony. Um, one thing about it is if you are, if someone's on the balcony, and someone's inside, the air conditions turned off because it's controlled technically by the handle of the balcony itself. So currently right now, Connor does not have AC in there and it's extremely humid, which stinks because you can't really enjoy as much being out here. But this hammock, a side note, is definitely tall people friendly because my boyfriend is 6'3 and he fits comfortably in this but it's just so relaxing. Hands down, get the balcony just for the hammock. So now Connor's awake and we're both dressed. <laughs> now we can go get breakfast, breakfast at 10 and go walk around Cozumel. Is it 10 a.m.? <laughs> Almost 11. All right. I mean, we have nothing planned today, so. No. I want to give a big shout out though to Connor putting away my tripod because for the past two cruises we've done, he's always down to do a TikTok trend with me. <laughs> so we're doing another TikTok trend. Thanks for being a loving boyfriend, willing to do them with a million takes. Well, as long as you, you'll get food like you promised. Yes, okay. I want an omelet. All right, good. Okay, come on. So the pancakes and french toast actually close at 11 for breakfast, so we're SOL with that. So instead we both just got eggs and omelets and bacon. So I got a veggie omelet and I added cheese to it and Connor got well done scrambled eggs, bacon and a hash brown. You guys, these omelets are so good. I had to get like seconds. Honestly, I might get thirds. Thank God it's 24 seven. These coffee? Yeah. Nice. So the breakfast, like eggs, bacon, toast, hash browns, 24 hours. Pancakes, waffles till 11. So Connor's not too happy, but I get omelets whenever I want. And while I'm eating my omelet, I have the best boyfriend. <laughs> Have me more sushi. <laughs> We're eating good before we go to Gosmo. So as much as when I did research for the galley that Virgin does it very differently, that you sit down and it's brought to your food, you still can go to each station and ask for the food that you'd like and have it prepared. And they'll bring you like a little um, what is that? Like a dial ring thing that they give you at like restaurants when it's like the you're ready. Buzzer. The buzzers. There Whatever you go. You want to call it. Yeah, I can think of that. But they give you that too. So as much as yeah, the galley is different and it's not like straight buffet and you pick what you want, it's you, you still pick what you want and you can go up to them. But they so. scoop it for you. Yes, but they scoop it for you. They get you don't touch the food. But then you just push that down and then they'll come to you. So we came back to our room to grab like some cash. <laughs> we parked right next to a cruise ship. But wait, what cruise line is that? I have no idea. I haven't seen this one. The funny part is we're opposites because we're... 
There is. What is that? I don't know. It looks like IHOP. It's not IHOP. <laughs> that logo looks like IHOP. And you can't tell me the other one. <laughs> like, it's missing, like, I don't know, maybe not. Look, they're videoing us. We're videoing them. Yay. Right. <laughs> oh, she's going to back up. <laughs> cool, whatever. I got to look it up. There's another boat coming. That's, that's not a cruise ship, Connor. To some people it is. That's not a cruise All right, ship, don't, Connor. Don't talk down on others. <laughs> I know that, I think there's two carnivals here, and I think there's one royal, or vice versa. Yeah, they're over there. Where? Down way, way up. Way down there? Okay. Uh, I have no idea what line this is, though. No. We're going to call it the IHOP Amazon Cruise. The, the what? IHOP Amazon Cruise. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And our room attendant is very quick when it comes to cleaning our room. Folded our clothes. And he folds our clothes and our PJs. They're so cute here. Shout out to my two favorite vloggers, Kyle Palo and JoJo's World, because they're the ones that introduced us to Virgin Voyages more so. Get full. I should get that. What? Go inside. If you're looking to just explore a ship, I highly recommend doing it a day that you're at a port because nobody's here. It's empty. Hey, Hi, Hi how are you? Very well. Miss Elizabeth, thank you. you. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Now we're in Mexico. Mariella Cruises. I haven't heard of that one. So the cruise next to us was the Morello cruise line. Not the IHOP Amazon. It was not the IHOP Amazon cruise. <laughs> I gotta look into it. I've never heard of it. Definitely overseas. It's yeah, but it's definitely it looks like an older ship. There's three ships. There are. It looks like Morello, I think. There's finally an up close of the ship. Much over here. Hot damn. <laughs> and of course, Connor's wearing his most heaviest shirt. <laughs> yeah. Totally ready for the island. Yeah. Well, there's a better shot of the Scarlet Lady. <laughs> and here's Cosmo. And here's Connor. And there's Connor. <laughs> it's super windy. Thank God, though. Because if not, it would be brutally hot. Yeah, the wind is hot. The wind is definitely helping. I'm sure it's very hard to hear me right now. There's a lot of shops over here. This is nice. There is a senior frogs. What? There is a senior frogs. There is. Uh huh. No, not that. It's over there. <laughs> this is nice. We were a little lost at first. Very. We thought it was just like those three shops that were right outside the boat, and that's it. Well, I'm still kind of lost. Yeah. A lot more. How cool! I thought they were actually statues. <laughs> There's so many knickknack shops. Yes, they do. <laughs> I don't know why. They do. That is so cool. That's, smell popcorn. That's popcorn? Yeah. So if you guys get off the ship and want to go see a movie, there you go. <laughs> it smells amazing. It does smell really good, the popcorn. Oh, popcorn. Yeah. Right now I'm on a hunt to go get a margarita. Because why go to Mexico and not get a margarita? I think Fat Tuesday has one. Hmm. So the final verdict was Fat Tuesday. I added Patron in it. So it came up to $21, but the flavor I got was electric lemonade. I couldn't even tell you what it tastes like, but it's delicious. And it's really nice because it's so hot here that this is like a cool down. Do you want some? You sure. Hey guys. <laughs> this is definitely more than this <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> Glad I talked you out of it. 
If so many cute little like mom and pop shops too. But it's busy. shopping. We're both very, very sweaty and hot and just tired at this point from walking around. So I'm gonna head back on the boat and just relax for the rest of the day. So if you don't have an excursion booked, there are shops and like walkways and stuff and uh, like a Starbucks and Hooters and yeah, like your basic port. So if you're at the port for Cozumel and you want to go to the shops, go up the escalators. We were a little lost and couldn't find the shops at first. This Mexican humidity is no joke. It is so hot and humid and just sticky out here that I brought my phone out here to take like a quick video for a TikTok trend. And it's already fogging up. So if you can't see me, I apologize. But. After a nice, chill relaxation, we watch National Treasure. They change their movies every day on the TV. So say you see something the first day and you're like, all right, I don't really see anything I wanna watch anymore. Um, they switch it up, which is cool. So we watch National Treasure. Now we're gonna go see a mentalist and comedy show. We book tickets for that. And then directly after that, we're going to Dual Reality. I've heard a lot of really good things about this one, so I'm really excited for that. So, so far we ate at the steakhouse in Gumbe. Um, tonight we didn't have anything booked. We weren't sure what we were going to end up doing in Cozumel. And uh, we weren't really that interested in the Razzle Dazzle, which is like vegan, vegetarian kind of foods. And uh, the test kitchen just was not up our alley. So, tomorrow, so tonight we don't have anything booked. I think we'll probably just eat at the galley and hang out. And uh, tomorrow is Connor's birthday. We'll be eating at Extra Virgin. It's the Italian restaurant on board. And our last day, we are eating at Pink and Cave. So at least we get those takes too. I'm really excited oh. to eat. It's hot. Wow. Look at your glasses. Know, <laughs> They're fogging see. up. I can't see. <laughs> I'm dying for chicken wings. I've not had chicken wings this entire trip. I wanted to go for All I see. <laughs> can't see anything. Can you see anything? No. It's so, I said it's so hot. I've been dying for chicken wings since we got, we stepped foot on the ship. And yesterday we went and stopped to go get these chicken wings. And they were sold out. They were completely sold out. And she said she's not getting them until tomorrow. So today's tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get these damn chicken wings. Yes. If not, I don't know what I'm eating. Guys, I'm in luck. They have my chicken wings. I got two orders. For yourself. Just for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. And then we'll bring it up to the galley and then Connor will pick out something. Yes. Don't get me wrong, the wings look really good. But the sizing, I'm very happy I got two. <laughs> like, <Ooh>. God. <laughs> You're gonna go get me another one. <laughs> This is how small they are. They're like little baby chicken wings. Pretty filled from just like a buffet. So now we have, I told you it was here. It's closed though. It's not open yet. <laughs> We're a little early. So ice cream? Where's ice cream? Up one. Up one? Yes. So we're a little early for the manor. Like it wasn't even open. So ice cream break. with it at all. 
Hamburger. Hamburger. Now, I should say at this point, hamburger, uh, these words that you're giving me will help me figure out what you're thinking. Not only that, tell me things about how Tori views life and sex and sexuality as a person. Um, <laughs> I'm going to skip Karen because that's hilarious. <laughs> Ace of Spades didn't go far enough. It's down <laughs> like that. Yeah! She said Queen of Clubs. Now, I have one tattoo on my entire body, okay? It's on my finger right here. It's this one. It's one card tattooed there, and you can touch it, Tori, if you want. If you want, Karen, come and feel the finger after the show. What card is that tattooed there? It's a Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs! So Ben Price, the magician that we just saw, was actually very funny. He was very unfiltered, but definitely kept you on your toes the entire time. So now we're just gonna grab some popcorn. You good? Now we're just gonna grab some popcorn and then we're gonna head to dual reality because we have double shows tonight. So this is like an acrobatic show from what I'm told. So they don't really speak when it's like a Romeo and Juliet show. Where they do like cool different stunts. We haven't been in this room yet. Are these our teams? Blue wristband for you. Thank you. Team Blue. Such a cool show. The acrobatics are amazing in the show. Definitely a must see if you're doing dual reality. It's insane how talented these acrobatics are. Like, I could never. So out of nowhere, after the show, the tires hit me really bad. I think because my body knows tomorrow night is, well, tomorrow day. It's just so special because it's Connor's 26th birthday. It's also Scarlet Night. And we have the spa in the morning, so there's a lot of going, going, going compared to the past couple days that we've had that were just more relaxed and chill. So Connor and I, as per usual, have been getting our pizzas to go and bringing it back to the room. So uh, tonight's my turn to pick a movie. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.